Hi readers, welcome back to Parents Help Kids Learn, where we learn what good readers do, and then at the end of each lesson, you have a chance to practice together. Today's lesson is good readers pay attention to punctuation marks. I'm going to say it again because this is our lesson today. Good readers pay attention to punctuation marks. Parents, let me talk to you first. Parents, when you're driving, do you pay attention to the signs on the road? Well, sure you do. The signs help you to get from one place to another place. If you don't pay attention to the signs, you may turn too early. You may turn too late. You may get lost. Signs are very, very important to drivers, aren't they, parents? Boys and girls, punctuation marks, which are signs as you read, they are very, very important for you as readers too. They help you to better understand what you're reading. The authors have put the punctuation marks in just the spots that they want you to pay attention to. There are different types of punctuation marks. One type of punctuation mark is the period. You will find a period at the end of a sentence. When you see a period at the end of a sentence, you need to stop your voice before you go on to the next sentence. So when you come to a period at the end of the sentence, you need to stop your voice before you go on to the next sentence. Another punctuation mark sign is a comma. And you'll see a comma in the middle of a sentence. So as you're reading, you'll come to a comma, you'll take a brief pause, which is just like a split second of a, of a little bit of a, a breath before you continue on. Let me give you an example of a sentence. And as I tell you this sentence, I'm going to do this where the commas would be. And watch how I just take a, just a quick little breath. I like to draw planets, sailboats, and dinosaurs. Did you see how I just took a quick, brief little pause right there where the commas were? And that's what you'll do when you come to commas. So let's go back. When you come to periods, you will stop before you go on to the next sentence. When you come to commas, you'll take a brief little pause before going on. Sometimes at the end of a sentence, you come to a question mark. What a question mark means is that the words in front of it are a question. And when you read a question, your voice needs to go up. Let me give you a couple examples of questions. If you were to come home and you smelled something delicious in the air, you went into the kitchen, mom had some cookie sheets out and some chocolate chips and a bowl, you may ask your mom this question and listen to my voice. I'm gonna bring it up like you do with a question. Mom, did you make cookies? Let me do it again. Mom, did you make cookies? And your mom may say, well, yes, I did. And then you may say another question. Again, listen to how my voice goes up. May I have one? <laughs> may I have one? So as you read, questions will have a question mark at the end of them. And you need to read it with your voice going up because that's how we speak and how we read questions. And another type of punctuation mark that you see at the end of a sentence is an exclamation point. When you see an exclamation point at the end of a sentence, you know that that sentence needs to be read, read with strong feeling. For example, if you've been waiting for your dog to have puppies, and finally she had them, you may tell your friend, my dog just had puppies. That sentence would need an exclamation point at the end because you've got some strong feelings about that. But later, maybe those puppies got some teeth and you may say this, one of my puppies just bit a great big hole in my brand new soccer ball. Again, you would need an exclamation point at the end of that sentence. You've got strong feeling there too. So anytime you read a sentence with an exclamation point at the end of it, you've got to show some strong feeling. And another punctuation mark is the quotation marks. 
and quotation marks go around words that are spoken out loud by a character. And they look like two commas on one side of the words and two commas on the other side of the words, but these commas are high. <laughs> They're like up in the air, right around the words that were spoken out loud. So when you come to quotation marks as you're reading, make sure you read them as the character. If it's an old man character, use an old man voice when you're reading. If it's a little girl character, use a little girl voice as you read what's in the middle of those quotations. So boys and girls, parents, now it's your turn. Find some just right books at home and pay attention to periods, commas, question marks, exclamation points, quotation marks as you read because that's what good readers do. Happy reading and I'll see you next time.